We don't know what's going on. here by ourselves there's one here we have to figure this out I don't know why it's doing this I don't either hello again okay we got there we're, we're not gonna do anything and just not touch a thing and see what's going on hello from Montana what part of Montana Richard Eva, you want to get in on this? Can't read it. So we have our computer here, and we had some technical. I've used my phone. It's shut off three times. So. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't either. Eva, what is homecoming? Why don't you explain what homecoming is, Eva? Uh, it's just a school dance. But explain why it's called homecoming. I don't know why it's called homecoming. Because this is when the football team has their first, not really, but home game. They come back, homecoming. They oh. dedicate one game as a homecoming, so all the alumni come back to the game and watch. That's what I understand. Yeah. So they've had home football games since. They don't have homecoming everywhere? I guess not, because a lot of, we posted a picture of daughter Eva and her date Jackson asked her to homecoming, and you make a poster, you kind of make a cute, fun idea of going to ask whoever you want to invite as your date, and yeah, Jackson went to the gym and proposed the question of asking her to homecoming. He didn't propose. Just proposing the question <laughs> of, will you go to homecoming? And we, we uh, posted a picture, and that's where I learned that a lot of you don't know what homecoming is or that there's a yeah. dance so it's i guess DJ it's just a thing in the states maybe dj in florida said it's when the alumni come back so i'm supposed to go i guess yeah mike went to seneca valley high school yeah they don't come to the dance they go to the football game. i might go to the yeah. dance too eva there's a super chat melissa oh uh, me, i have to get my glasses on i can't see the questions i hope your From... september is going smoothly take care hi, hi terry. terry thanks terry that was nice some schools have no sports for Terry, homecoming. you've been through a lot. I, I, I will be getting back to you on my message to you, but thank you so much. What part of Florida do you live in, uh, DJ in Florida? What time? Osco. Osco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember, we couldn't remember the right way to say it. Yeah. Hannah yeah. Morgan. And I forgot Hannah again. Morgan's in the house. Is Hannah, right? how's my truck? Yeah. Hannah's driving Mike's truck. So we haven't had a live, and I oh, started to Kala. say this on our. Oh, That's right. thanks. That's, so yeah, I'm telling so her I was right. saying I know wrong. She knows she's right. <laughs> Debbie, I'm sure you weren't doubting the fact that I could say it wrong. <laughs> Hannah loves my truck. Um, yeah. So it's been over a month that we had a live. I thought tonight would be a good night, but a lot of things were going wrong. So. Maybe tonight wasn't the best night. Hannah said there was a dent in the back of your truck when you gave it to me, right? No. Said, no. Hi. Hi, Tina. Tina in Texas is on. Do people wear, Tim says, do people wear masks while riding in a car? By themselves here. Yeah. I passed someone today. Sometimes. There might be someone, but. It is nice and cool out, Snowman. We have a fire. Hey, Snowman, oh. we need to get you over here someday and uh, split some wood whenever uh, we're getting into that fall mode here. We we're talking to get in a few. Yeah. we got a little fire going here right beside us right now. It feels good. I keep leaning this way. I can feel it. I have a sweatshirt on, but still have shorts on. Hunter, he's still wearing shorts and T-shirts. That's Hunter's go-to outfit. Yeah, he'll probably wear shorts and t-shirt, I would say, through October. Yeah. Easily. But he has had a good week. He didn't have any seizures this week. We were really struggling with, it seems like the day he'd have, start the day with one seizure, he'd have another one, like three hours later, two to three hours later. So um, we had some tests done and uh, changed some medication, and so far, so good. 
But thank you so much for everyone that said prayers for Hunter and our family and doctors and anyone that's caring for him. We really appreciate it. Oh, Larry. Crisp and clear spring morning in my bit of Australia. Yeah, they're just coming into spring in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Opposite of us, yeah. Cool. Okay, well. Sleeping with the windows open. Yeah, our air conditioner hasn't been running. Unless it's got the windows open. Yeah. Matter of fact, she left. We left them open all night oh. last night. It, it, the only one that enjoyed that this morning was the dogs. The dogs were <laughs> like, "This is so great." It was freezing. We woke up like I lay, I opened my eyes thinking, "Please tell me the furnace is running." <laughs> it was like forty-seven <laughs> degrees this morning. It was cold. We had all the windows open all night. But that kind of gets you woke up. You're like, "Whoa!" Hot in Colorado, eighty-eight in Denver. Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah, so I started on the other live, maybe like live number two, since this is like number three or four, saying thanks so much for everyone that sent messages, wanting to know where we were. There was, uh, I think all five of you sent me a message, wanting to know why it's been so long for a live, but I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's been quite the month. This month has just flew. The whole year has flown by. Yeah, the whole year, but this month has gone really fast and... The last three weeks, I've been at home with Hunter and no car. Anybody uh, on here that's going to Bunyan? Raise your hand. Yeah, we're excited to see everybody. That's a good show. That's a... Is it? What's the weather going to be? I think pretty cool. Time to wear the flannel shirts, sweaters, sweatshirts. Eva, you're not going to make it. Nope. So we're going to be there for Friday. So daughter Eva will be home. She has school that day. And then she has a big job. She's working Saturday. So. What? Your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Honor. She's going to help with Hunter that day. So actually our son Levi and grandson Ty are going to head out on Saturday. They'll be there. So. Anyone wants to meet Levi, <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure his wife Kate and granddaughter Thea are coming as well, but grandson Ty will be there, so he's a hoot and a half. Better practice your fist bump. Yeah, Ty's big into fist bump. Which is called a sisump. Yeah, he called a sisump. Sisump? Yeah. It's a browning. Someone asked what brand. So I got these Mr. Magoo glasses here. I yeah, I think regardless of the uh, Bronco thing, the beard's going to stay till oh, the elk hunt, you know? Why not? Why not? Smile like a Morton. Thank you. This is, I keep touching my computer, but the messages are on my phone. You can go down. If you want to see the old ones. Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. So we got 258 people, hey, which is pretty good for the disaster. You can road trip to PA. Actually, you'll be going to Ohio if you want to go to Paul Bunyan. He was sitting by the fire. Yeah, you want to maybe even move this direction. We move this direction. See the fire? Feels good. You can sit over on that bench, Mike. I'll move in a second here. Can you see the fire? Someone shaved their beard. Do we have snowmobiles? Uh, no. People do, but... Yeah, just north of us a little bit. They get enough snow. I mean, we'll get some snow, but... In order to justify a snowmobile. But yeah, up above Interstate 80, a lot of people are into that. From there on up north. Having a snowmobile is like having a swimming pool here. There's a good three months you're going to use it. Yeah. Yeah. For a swimming pool, this year was kind of a... Two and a half, maybe three. We'll see. But I'm just ending, going into the end of September. Billy's sitting in his deer blind right now. Oh, yeah? That's funny. That's cool. Yeah, archery season starts here, uh, I think, next weekend. It's really warm. We will have to, uh, if we do a live again, we will have to up the time because we like to sit outside by the fire here and do these. And it's getting darker earlier. <laughs> Buy the geotextile from Interstate Pipe and Supply. They have a couple locations. That's where I get it. 
but you won't find that stuff like at Lowe's or Home Depot. You have to go to like a construction supply place, but usually like pipe yards and stuff like that will have it. Tina wants to know what it's a snowmobile. <laughs> oh, a snowmobile is like a, a jet ski, but yet you drive it on the snow. So it's like a, it's a sled looking thing. It has handlebars, your throttle, your brake, your, um, you've got a window shield. So it's a lot like a jet ski, but made for land snow you wouldn't drive it in the dirt yeah the elk hunting videos we'll probably just put them right on facebook i'd like to put them on youtube but you never know what they'll do and you don't know what facebook will do either but right you can put it on my channel did you guys watch my last couple of videos my last video was an interview we did back in june and is that how long ago that was yeah and it really um, was answering questions and a lot of common, most common questions we get here asking about how to start a YouTube channel and um, you just got to get started. Do, you know, do what you like or what you're passionate about be good at it and be informative, be honest and, and start the channel. Mike started with his phone and then he used our daughter's GoPro. And anyways, we did an interview with some students that thought they were listing the careers they wanted to get into. And being a YouTube influencer was at the top of the list. So one of the subscribers on Outdoors with the Morgans reached out to us and asked if we'd like to do this question answer thing with her students. And it was fun. We did it. And so the video was like 30 minutes long, which is a long video for me on my channel. She was. But everyone asked a question about Mike not having a beard. Like, yeah, because then you explained it all. It was from and before. And I said in the video, I'm like, this was from a couple months ago. But not everybody pays attention. I'm probably one of those people too. Yeah. But it really threw a lot of people off. The lady who uh, reached out to us, she was real nice. It's kind of funny because her husband watched my channel and she admitted she couldn't really understand why <laughs> anyone would watch someone cut wood and run tractors and stuff. But then she said it is kind of, uh, and then she kind of started watching it sawmill. more. Sawmill. She said she liked sawmill. the sawmill. She liked the sawmill stuff. Tell Eva, you have to Lisa. stop playing in the fire. Nah. <laughs> I like playing the fire. What's going on? I've never heard. I've never heard Allegheny whitetails. I can't get too close because the flames keep coming my way. Fire's yeah. ripping. It feels good. It feels really good sitting right here. We could lower that camera by setting it down here if you want. Yeah, but it'll see. Oh, I see. Thing. Yeah, it's been a really nice day today. Yeah, I also had a couple questions about the dogs. Um, are they still running the trails? Because I haven't been making a lot of uh, videos or stories. So Archie can be kind of hard on Piper, you know. Oh, yeah. He He's just all over the place and always wanting to wrestle and fight and play and she gets sick of it. So today I was over working at neighbor cliffs and Melissa went for a hike and ended up coming out in the woods over that way with all the dogs. Well, they have a Newfoundland named Wonka and it was hilarious because Archie did not like that giant dog. He, uh, huh. he his, his ears were laid back and Wonka was just trying to play and Archie was like, uh, what? Yeah. I never seen anything yeah. this big before. Yeah. And uh, it was really funny. I mean, he's met Wonka before, but he's done that every single time he sees Wonka. Yeah. He, and gets on his back or he's like sitting there real still like, oh no, oh no. Oh no, he's oh going to no. kill me. He's going to kill yeah. me. So they were kind of wrestling and then, is that so on? Yeah. Oh, okay. They were kind of wrestling and he tumbled Archie a few times and Piper seriously walked up to Wonk and like licked his face. Like, thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Yeah, DJ Florida, got a t he got a taste of his own medicine. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to take him over there yeah. once a week just to we keep him grounded him. a little bit. The... We should. Oh, yeah. Or I said, I was leaving, and Cliff was like, he's not going to hurt him. I go, no, he needs oh. to, like. Congrats, Trevor. Just picked up a Bernie's Mountain Dog today. Oh. Actually, Archie, Rue, and Piper and I just watched a dog show. It was, I think it was from last November. We found it on one of the old channels, you know. Watched it. Archie mm -hmm. loved it. So why is that flickering? The Bernice Mountain Dog came on. Oh, so beautiful. Archie was like, 
right there. Fun. Yeah. Prom wouldn't be till spring. Right, Eva? And it's only for seniors. Uh, it's only for seniors. Eva's just a, what are you, junior? Yeah. Wow. Juniors can't go. Unless the, you're going with a senior. Oh, I see. Don't they have junior prom? No. Junior prom? They Some did back in the do, day. But. Back in the day when I went there. Uh, these are going too fast. Should we try to pull it up on the computer so that we can read this? How's Chloe doing, Eva? She's good. Yeah, I thought about getting in touch with her today. See if she wanted to Archie did not bite everything when he was a puppy, and he was super laid back. Like, we couldn't oh, believe yeah, yeah. how relaxed he was. And then he just flipped a switch. Yeah. yeah. He's... He's about eight months old. He was eight months old. He's a bundle of energy. Hunter's doing good. Eva has a Julia tell. Roberts look. There has been people that have told her she looks like Julia Roberts. Yeah. I gotta post my outdoors with Morgan's account. That's a good idea. Go to her Instagram. It's o is it O W T M Eva? O W T M dot Eva. O W T M dot Eva. You could Eva. just call it daughter Eva. No. I think we're gonna get rid of the daughter soon. Yeah, well we're your parents, so I look bald. <laughs> Tim's heading to the woods in the morning to cut wood. My Eva's photos are really behind the scene. We, oh. we had a pretty good day today. Uh, we were busy. Oh boy, Nathan's liking the Nathan. beer. Thanks for wow. the uh, super chat. Yeah, at Paul Bunyan's show next week, there's going to be quite the celebrity there. His name's Nathan from Out of the Woods. And I heard... It says right on the thing, he's going to be speaking. So I don't know if he's speaking to everybody at Bunyan. Wow. I, I don't know. I but can't wait, Nathan. We're going to be there. I went out the other day and actually set a chair up there. So that'll be my spot. Reserve the spot. To hear okay, Nathan. Okay, guys. There's 420 speak. people on. I only have 324 followers. So go follow, okay? If I get 500 by the end of this live, then... Then what? Then we'll get rid of Archie. No, we won't. No. But <laughs> and a few comments above that, Jack, I think his name was, said they lost their golden retriever a few months, uh, a few weeks ago. So I just wanted to say I'm so sorry about that. If I get 500 followers, then Yeah, Eva would like you to go to Instagram. Then I'll delete my main Instagram. And, and I'll follow you back. Maybe. If you have a good profile picture, I'll follow you back. Oh boy. What's Do you hear up? that? Do you hear all these I got demands? two follows. Okay, go to Instagram and go to OWTM.Eva. I, I think you should just... Actually, while you're on Instagram, go to Morgan's Off the Leash. And no, this is a competition now. Follow me. Oh, someone unfollowed. <laughs> someone unfollowed. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's funny. You're not getting a follow back. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking forward to Bunyan. I'm, I'm really looking forward to meeting Nathan. I talk to him on the phone quite often. and. Uh, oh, that's right. You haven't met. Right? Uh-uh. No, we never met. Yeah. Good guy. I forgot to like my own post. Can you what with an iPad? Oh, oops. Can you do that with an iPad? Yeah. Follow on Instagram? Walter. You, yeah. Do you have Instagram on your... You're going to have to get the app. Oh, look it's at all these followers Instagram app. And uh, yeah, go to what is your name again? O W T M dot Eva. O W T M. All of our kids did O W T M. O W T M Levi. O W T M Hannah. O W T M Eva. And I'm just Morgan's off the leash. I'll make Hunter one. <laughs> oh my what God. cameras do I use? I use several cameras. I have a uh, Canon M50, DJI cameras. Osmo Actions. Uh, wow. Boy, Eva gets things done. <laughs> how, how, how many did you just get? Um, almost like 20. Wow. Jim's daughter, Dana, has a 10-week-old golden retriever. Oh, oh boy. That'd Good be luck. so cute. Okay, Walter says he'll do it later. Walter. Thank you. Okay, guys. We're at 21. Hmm. 
You only have 21 followers? No, 21 no. plus I said that. Oh. Yeah, wow. those little puppies are just, they're, they're great. But I'm Somebody telling you. they love your hair. Thank you. Thank you. Mine, oh, Eva's. Eva's. Mine's been kind of rough. But this is, this is, do you want to know how I do my hair? I'm sure you do. I should probably do a video on it. But you take a nice hot bath before bed. And then you get your pajamas on. And you go to bed. <laughs> That's like and it, you wake up and it looks like this. And then you're like, ah, that's okay. That's okay, right? That's okay, right? Eva said that all the time when she was a little kid. No matter what that's she did. Okay. One time that's okay, she, right? she spilled a whole thing of fingernail polish on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. And she said, that's, that's a, okay, right? I'm like, no, no it's not, it's not okay. okay. We're not going to get this out. <sighs> 353. Oh, Eva. Tim Wilcox following you on the gram. Thanks, Tim. Hi, Tina. What did Tina say? You ever had short hair, Melissa? I did have short hair. I will have to post a picture of that. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jason wanted to know that. Tina, Barry D, went to boot camp. Kate May. And you yeah. changed my profile. Foster. See, someone said they, I remind him of Foster Brooks now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. <laughs> or wait, who's. Maybe Foster Brooks is who I'm. Um, Red mm. Skeleton? Red Skeleton. Is that how you say it? Skelton. Skelton. I made my new profile um, picture, me and Ty. Aw. Uh, grandson Ty fell and got a bump on his face today. Took a crash into an end table, we heard. <laughs> yeah. That was when he was a little upset in the car. Yeah, so... I, um... I probably... can admit, I don't really do my hair too often. Sometimes you do. Yeah, I need to work harder on that. I haven't been feeling down lately. I've just not been feeling on Thanks, Dale. Doing a whole lot. Thanks for the super chat, Dale. Hi, Dale. Thanks so much. That's really kind of you. We appreciate you guys joining in. We were answering some questions. I am trying to answer a bunch of the Instagram. We get a ton of Instagram messages, like personal messages. Well, I want to know who wants a... Uh root beer float with a splash of maple syrup. I'll take one. Ooh, my elbow hurts on the table. I'll take one. Um, this may be easier if I pull it up on here. Okay. No, we haven't come up with a name for the new building. I don't know what to call it. I struggle with that. If anyone has any ideas, like something simple. Hi. Can you show them the sky? The Morgan hut. Let me yeah, show you guys the sky. Your story. Oh, I was yeah. going to. That too. Me and the sky. Thanks, for Thanks uh, Dan. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. That's nice. We appreciate that. This is, um, this is our third attempt of this live, I think. Yeah. Can you uh, see that, Melissa? Yeah. Okay, guys, I added to my story. Me and the fire. Uh, the power will be going in the building. I want to get the framing done and just do it all at once because I've got plenty of power over there right now. So that's kind of the plan there. But Colonel Sanders. I'm that's telling you, one. you can't find people. No, no one's showing up. People like I don't know. Morgan's I don't want to get into it, but like you that. you can't get anything right now. <laughs> like yeah. there, and no one's. Every business around here is short staffed. Uh, you can't. You just can't get anything. It's been rough. Yeah. It's really it's really strange how things are right now. It is strange. I even um, read a story about like veterinarian services or. Overloaded because so many people got pets during the Cliff said, stay at home pandemic. Cliff and, said he went to a CVS pharmacy, had to pick up a prescription, and he was waiting uh, just till they were just opening, you know, open the big sliding thing. And he said, gave him like five minutes. And he said, the whole place is just, they had like an aisleway where you could walk through, and there's stuff piled up everywhere. And there's the pharmacist and one helper. And he said, I'd hire five people if I could get them, and he can't get anyone. He goes, we're so behind, and just everything's... Just two of them run it the whole time. 
Well, Mike and I had a brilliant idea a few days ago that we were gonna go to Royal King and where Royal King is at is Texas Roadhouse. I'm like, let's go to Texas Roadhouse for lunch. Go to Royal King, get the things we need. You get there, there's a sign on the door. We don't open till three. They were short Actually, 3.30, said short staff don't open until 3.30. We were there like 11.30. I'm like, Thanks for okay. the super chat, Jim's life. Appreciate that. Thanks, Jim's life. We appreciate that. <laughs> the ghost of Henry Ford will visit you in a dream Aww. with news on the Bronco Blouse. I appreciate that. Thanks. Henry's probably rolling over in his grave right now, the way this whole thing went down. Yeah, so I have, uh, you know, this is on Morgan's Off the Leash. I'm going to say this because Mike would be like, we're not going to do that on my channel. But listen, I have to tell Ford something. I'm done with this, Bronco. <laughs> yeah, she kind of lost the uh, excitement. I'm done. She lost her patience. I'm not even patience. I'm just, I'm done. That's it. Guess it'll be mine then. <laughs> Eva, you're something else. So, yeah, I heard that about the cargo ships piled up off the coast waiting to get unloaded. Craig, yeah, that's, now see, that's more like it. Did anybody see, I know that people are going to laugh, I know they'll say it's a stupid vehicle, but the new F the Ford Maverick, not that you can get anything new, but it's like <laughs> a tiny little pickup truck, and you know, it's smaller than a Ranger, and it's like a unibody, doesn't have a frame, but uh, I think they're onto something with them. You can get like a Lariat, like an all-wheel drive one, everything, brand new, loaded up for like twenty six or $27,000. And I just thought, you know, obviously you're not going to haul a lot of wood in one or tow much with it. But instead of a car for someone, you know, it's a crew cab. Yeah, it's this got a little Mike pickup says bed. his wife wants a Maverick. Yeah, I think... I think the name Maverick for a car is cool. I think they look pretty neat. And for, yeah, for commuting to work, like, like you said, yeah, 20, like, they start at 19.9 for, like, the base, base one. But you can get, it's like the F-150s, you know, you can get an XLT or a Lariat or whatever. And uh, that's pretty impressive, though. Old man Fred said, my wife has been in face build <laughs> Four times this year. <laughs> what? Yeah, the Maverick does have that. That's pretty funny. I actually had a cousin on Facebook. Well, I still have him. He's still my cousin. He's still on <laughs> Facebook. But I wished him a happy birthday a couple months ago. And his wife replied, thanks so much, Melissa. I'll tell Adam. And uh, he's in Facebook jail right now. <laughs> 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 ah, I love it. Love it. Yeah. That's a hoot. Yeah, check out that Maverick. That, that kind of was like going on alive. pretty neat little... You could double your horsepower in that truck with the 880 Magnum in the bed. Yeah. That's an excellent idea. Yeah, they, they're not huge powerhouses, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I always wish we could get the Toyota Hilux here in the States, which we can't. They have them in Australia, <laughs> don't they? I knew you like waking up to Rip Van Winkle. Yep, this is it. I'm liking the beard. He's loving the beard. I don't mind the beard. My dad had a beard my whole life, so I actually... <laughs> this is awkward. There's 542. What did you say, Eva? I said, this is awkward. There's 542 people on my Instagram. I only gained 40 followers. <laughs> oh, she wants to plug her Instagram again. Five only, 546. I think the other people kind of lost... Uh, yeah, they love the Hilux. Are you from Australia? Dan? Oh, I would love... To a Hilux, if anyone we has can't, one. We can't get them emissions or whatever. Yeah. They just ruin everything, you know? Oh, you oh, can see me. Don't get me started. Yeah. Someone says they stay away from Instagram and Twitter. Michael Moran. You're just missing a G. <laughs> it's like, what? I get it. Oh, yeah, there's Hilux. In, in Grenada. Yeah, oh. they're all over the place. But not here. Yeah, I remember the original Ford Maverick. It was a car. Remember, like, the old AMC cars and yes, stuff? The Gremlins, the Pacers. Wow. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss. What was AMC for? So you can get the Hilux in the UK? What? Wow. Send me one. We can't get anything cool here. No. 
kind of done with the uh, Dear Ford. This is how my letter's going to go. Dear Ford, my husband thought the Bronco was amazing. That was in the 80s. Here we are, 2020. We ordered. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, we ordered the Bronco. So excited to hear it's coming back out. I think we should get a vintage 2021. Bronco. It's your Bronco's being built, and it never shows up. It's very frustrating. AMC Javelin. Remember the Javelin? Yeah. I don't remember the Javelin, I did. but I, the Gremlin, I remember. Wasn't the Gremlin like Ron's a Ron's first tank? car was a Maverick. Yeah, yeah. I had a, yeah. <laughs> it just was like your... Big old aquarium. Driving a yeah, fish tank around with it. And then they had the uh, Eagle, the uh, yeah. AMC yeah. Eagle. It was like all-wheel drive or four-wheel yeah, drive it was or like something. Yeah, kind of up. Yeah. Lifted a little bit. Yeah, ugly because it had a uh, panel side. You know what, though? I want to say something. I was thinking of this the other day. All new vehicles. I, I watch that uh, Scotty Kilmer sometimes, and he's very knowledgeable. He was a mechanic, and he finds fault, you know, whatever's wrong with any car. And everything out there right now has some kind of little problem with it. And uh, But I like things like fuel injection and stuff. I mean, I remember my first pickup truck, 73 Ford. Like, if your friend got in it to start it and move it and, like, hit the gas once the wrong way because you had a whole system how to get it started... You know what I mean? Then you'd flood it and you couldn't start it for a half an hour. So there are a lot of things I like about newer vehicles compared to old ones, but they all have problems. But, man, I used to have some pretty rough stuff I'd run down the road in when I was younger. Whew. Remember that old Honda Civic you used to have? Was... Oh, my word. Hey, no kidding. The Honda Civic, it was a little four-door. I could seriously pull in this garage, turn around, and pull out the yeah. other garage door. Yeah. We had like 150000 on it when oh, we got yeah. it. Whew. That thing. Yep. It was one of the many things I drove into the ground. Um, Vicky said when we see Lyle this week to ask him about the elk hunt. He lived in Colorado for many years. And... Really? Is He's like the world's most I mysterious know. man Lyle, or something. You are just full of fun stories. Joke. Yeah, Scotty Kilmer, rev up your engines, he screams. He hates the Broncos. I think Scotty had a falling out or something or something with Ford. He just, he despises the Broncos. And he, there's always confusion between the Bronco Sport and the Bronco. And a lot of times he'd talk about the Bronco Sport and show, or talk about the Bronco, but show him pictures of the Sport. So everyone got more confused. Yeah, and we're still getting a lot of people send us messages and pictures and of the Broncos and video sport. clips of them all parked in this, you know, dirt hill or whatever. Dirt mountain. Dirt mountain. I get that. I don't know. I just don't know what to. 70 Pinto. Pintos are the ones that used Pinto. to uh, kind of explode, right? When they. Cause oh, they, they, yeah, they catch they on fire. Burn up, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, Maple, Maple Tree Homestead, thank you. My first truck was a Chevy, Chevy Love. Love. I remember oh, them Chevy yeah. Love. He asked, what was yours? What was your first truck? 73 Ford half ton, two wheel drive. See, I thought it was a Chevy. Wasn't no, like then I had a 79 cream? Chevy. I had one of those. It, well, it, was a, it was a tan and cream color, 79 Chevy. And if you didn't put the emergency brake on, on even the slightest grade, it would drift a little bit and it would get locked in park. And you'd oh. have to like oh. get a couple people to push it just a little bit to get it out of park. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Broncos with a hard top. That's what the holdup is or was or is. My first car was the Datsun. Well, it really wasn't mine. It was just the, the car I learned to drive like a Datsun I think it was three or four speed it wasn't very I had one of them little it was a work truck a little Mazda two-wheel drive a little like extended cab I mean the back seat was about this big oh I remember that yeah a little red one it was a work truck and uh I ran man I put the miles on that but I was coming up 79 once got a flat tire and I'd never seen this before but the spare I mean I've seen them up underneath the truck but uh that was the first car I saw where you stuck the rod in a hole in the bumper to lower the, oh, yeah. the spare tire that was when they first started doing that you know and that was yeah. like a big deal so i'm sitting there looking at this tire like how's this thing come down and some guy stopped he's like 
took me hours to figure it out, but it, you just crank it down. But then they all rust and they get tight and you yeah. can't you beat them with a sledgehammer. Could you imagine if we uh, ask kids today to put gas in a car that we... Cars flip the license in, plate. They, yeah, they would not even know. You would pull the license plate down and that's where they get yeah, a gas filler that's right behind the license plate. That seems a bit too complex. Eva's looking at us like we're crazy. Plus, my parents had a car that did that. If it, it didn't take unleaded. It took... I feel like that requires more like, technology than... No. Regular gas. Is there? Wasn't there a regular? Yeah. Regular, then unleaded, yeah. But it didn't take unleaded. It took regular. Which was leaded, you know. Right. Regular gas was... Right. It's getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark out, can you tell? 7.30, 29, 7.29, the sun is setting. You should see, well, probably Monday, I'm gonna shoot a video tomorrow, uh, but you should see the trade that I made for some firewood. It's incredible. It's the best trade in the world. It really is. Best trade ever. So the video will be Mondays, right? Yep. Oh wait, you can get it up tomorrow. I'll have one for tomorrow morning. Oh, I, I might even put on tomorrow night, just a short one, but yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Best trade ever. You won't believe it. It really is. I wish I could show you. But I think Eva may have when she was still in the sky. Oh. Um, Let me look. Right. So you might want to go to outdoors of the Morgans dot Eva and follow her on Instagram. O -W -T -M. Unless you guys can tell. Oh, I'm sorry, it's OWTM. And there's a little snippet of it. Archie's barking. Archie just learned how to growl recently. He you can growl. He, no, he no. can growl. And he you just recently else? learned because he, he won't stop doing it. He started to bark, bark. But seriously. Yeah, like things he shouldn't be barking. We have to get video of him chasing Piper down and wrestling with her and then take him over to Wonka, the neighbor's Newfoundland. And oh my gosh. he is like, what in the world? Yeah. Um, hey, bad cat. Hi, bad cat. Hey, bad cat. Hi, Jim. Hi, Keith. Hi, Peter. Mm. Well, we're going to have to shut her down here soon. Yeah. It's getting pretty dark and pretty cold. Mom, I sent Sophia a picture of you, and she said you look 16. Best, that was so nice. Best trade ever, a oh, 22. Her, thank you so much. For a six-pack. <laughs> I've been feeling kind of... I haven't been feeling depressed. I've just been feeling like... I'm getting a funk. I'm in a funk. Someone said they traded a 22 for a six pack, or trade got a 22 for a six pack. My dad. Ooh, that was a desperate alcoholic. My dad had a uh, oh. a Colt Cobra. You gotta watch what you say on this YouTube thing. With a Colt Cobra, which is really nice little pew pew, and he traded an old used push mower for that, and uh, that's probably worth. It was from the 70s. It's probably worth seven, 800 bucks now. Well, that's a, have you ever played that game? That's a game that um, some of the youth from our church did. You start with like a pen and you go to someone's door and not, like you Trade. probably couldn't do it today. Trade up. You keep trading oh, up. Yeah. I've seen YouTubers do that. Well, did anyone ever watch the show? What was it called? Outdoors. With Tim mm. Allen. The great, no, it's just, I can't remember it. It's like I seen. Uh, Levi said, a lot of people are asking about that fire pit. I will find one and include it in the, in the next video. Or the next. You can order them online. They yeah, are we'll incredible. We we'll, love it. Yeah, we'll cook those foil dinners on it and stuff. I actually started doing a video on it, but I don't know what happened to that. On the fire pit? I start doing a lot of videos, and then I'm like, no, this will be stupid. No one will like it. So I <laughs> don't I have seriously like 30 videos started yeah. thinking this would be great. Not home improvement, it's the other one. What's the one he owns the outdoor store? Outdoor Man. Outdoor, is that the name of the show? Mm hmm. Okay, Outdoor Man. There's a guy that works at the store. What's his name? That kid. I'm asking you. Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. And he did the trade up. Didn't he do the trade up game? Yeah. From like a lunchbox? To yeah. a car. Kyle sees people are answering. So Kyle did it. Yeah. And he ended up getting a car, which then Mr. Ozaki bought the, was yeah, giving he, him the car. And then they were going to. Last man standing. Not outdoor man. What am I thinking? Oh, yeah. yeah. Last man what standing. A dummy I am. <laughs> I, don't know. I love when dad does that. 
I think we're write that down, Eva. I was wrong. Fart problems here. I'm morning. trying to look the screen dark. We're gonna <laughs> yeah, have to wrap this up. I know. Sorry that we fumbled three different times. We'll get better. This live. There's 600 here. If you could hit the thumbs up on the way out, it'd, that'd make me feel good. No, it, I don't like telling you what to do. If you feel like I doing do, it, though. go ahead. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. Daughter Eva would like you to go to her house. <laughs> Which, yeah, guys. Follow my Instagram. What is it, Eva? OWTM. OWTM dot Eva, because there's 600 people on and I have less than 600 followers. But while you're on Instagram, you can go to Morgan's Off the Leash. That's my Instagram I follow. Yeah. I'm going to try to put some stories up. How I'm going to try to do a lot of things. Kisses from Brazil. Got to get back to the gym. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> we appreciate everyone being here. And uh, can't wait to get a We'll time. see you in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you.